hello hello and welcome my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper it has been a little while since I've shared what sold with you for me and that's because I was in auctioneer school so I've graduated from auctioneer school I do still have to sit for my state board though and I wanted to show you what sold over the last two and a half weeks while I was kind of MIA doing 13 hour days of auction school I sold 133 items and almost five thousand dollars since I started auctioneer school I'm not going to show you all 133 items but what I am going to do is show you all of those that sold for over $25 in that period and it's actually only about 30 so if you look at that most of my sales are bread and butter sales. I only have 30 that were over $25, but we still made $5,000 in the last two weeks. So let's go ahead and take a look at what sold. The first item I want to take a look at is this really cool enamel barrette that sold for $25. This is an antique vintage pink rose on green Victorial, Victorian enamel flower barrette pen. This one sold for $25. I only paid about $5 for this. So it's about a $15 profit. Now this one did take a while to sell. It took about a year to sell. I actually was going back and forth with this buyer on offers and they exhausted all their offers and we didn't come to an agreement. So what they did was they messaged me, asked me if the offer of 25 was still available. I knew they had ex it had exhausted their offers. So I changed the price to 25. They bought it immediately and paid and that was a good profit. All right, up next is a vintage linen piece. If you do not know, I love vintage linens. They are one of my favorite items to sell. This is actually a vintage table runner. I paid less than a dollar. It only took about six months to sell. Linens can be longer tail, including handkerchiefs and scarves. Most of them are gonna take a little while for the right buyer to find them, but this one sold for 25 this is a vintage white lace table runner with roses centerpiece i did put the measurements 54 by 14 also use the word cottage core this one sold for 25.99 i'm only about a dollar in so this one is about an 18 to 19 dollar profit up next is a license plate i bought 1200 of them if you haven't been watching me for a long time i got 1200 of them in an online estate sale from somebody who was an antique dealer i am only a dollar a piece into them and this one sold for 25.98 this is a vintage germany collectible police license plate i did learn that by looking it up on google lens I paid a dollar. It sold in eight months for $25.98. So this one is about a $19 profit. Up next is an item that I found over on my Catch Treasure Hunting videos. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my Catch Treasure Hunting. It's where I go thrifting into garage sales and estate sales. So I found this bell for $5 at the thrift store and it actually sold in under a month. This is an antique vintage Swiss iron cowbell hanging on embroidered strap. I paid five. It sold for $25.99 and under a month, making it about a $12 profit. Up next is another vintage linen item. This one is a crocheted blanket. And for the amount of time these take, I really feel like they should sell for more. But a lot of times they don't. This one was solid white. I'm only about $2 in and it sold for a little over $25. Or right, it sold for right at $25. This is a large lace handmade white throw blanket 78 by 85 i did put hand knit crocheted diamond pattern again only paid two dollars this one sold for 25 so it's about a 19 dollars profit and it took about six months to sell 
up next is a Harley patch. If you do not know, A, patches are super easy to list and photograph as well as ship. So I would, I would watch for patches. This Harley one did take about eight or nine months to sell, but it sold for over $30 and I only paid two. This is a vintage Harley 64 panhead patch, silver wings. I did put rare, large 11 inch for jacket. So I want to get jacket in there in case somebody's looking for a Harley jacket. They might want this patch for their jacket. Sold for $31.84. Again, I did pay $2. So this one is about a $22 to $23 profit. Up next is a Simply Southern shirt. I've sold a lot of these. I bought them at the outlet in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I paid $5.99. They sell for around $20 to $25. This one sold for $25.99. This is a Simply Southern Collection sweatshirt. It does say Moody. It was a size XXL. So all I really picked up at the outlet was either XL or XXL because for me, those larger sizes do sell better. This one sold for $25.99. So it's about a $13 to $14 profit and it sold in about three months. Up next is a vintage Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt that sold for over $25. I only paid a dollar. This is a vintage Dragon Lion Hard Rock Cafe New York t-shirt. I did put Reed because this did have some staining on it and it still sold for $28.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. So this one is actually over a $20 profit and it sold in under two weeks. Up next, I got these in online auctions. I got a lot of NFL pullover vintage sweatshirts. This one is a Redskins and it sold in under a month. This is a Redskins NFL team apparel windbreaker jacket, size 2XL, and it sold for $30. I paid five, so this one's gonna be about an $18 profit and it sold very fast. All right. I categorize pillows in with linens. Throw pillows can be very, very profitable. This next one was not listed very long and it sold for 30. This is a vintage Santa Claus St. Nick velvet square needlepoint pillow. It did say read because it did have some staining in the velvet on the back. This one sold for $30. I paid $2 at a thrift store, making this one about a $20 profit. All right, some more license plates. And in my experience, the pairs typically are worth more money than the single plates. This next sale I'm going to show you is a pair of plates, but not all pairs are created equal. I looked up every single one of those 1200 license plates to get pricing for them. So I wouldn't pick them up too blindly unless you're getting them for like two bucks or less. But this next one was a great sale. This is a vintage 1968 Maryland license plate set. I did put pair and original tag. They sold for $30. I am about $2 in. So they're about a $22 profit and they sold in about $8 months up and next is a brooch i love selling jewelry i do sell the majority of my jewelry over on whatnot now if you haven't come and hang out come come hang out with us i start off everything at two dollars we are live five nights a week sometimes during the day as well you can get 15 dollars free if you haven't signed up i'll throw that link down in the comments but this next piece was listed for about eight months and I'm only $2 in. It is Austrian. Watch for brooches marked Austria. Typically, they are Austrian crystal and they can sell very, very well. This is a vintage large bouquet, blue, green, Austrian crystal rhinestone flower pin brooch. This one sold for $36.39. 
I only am about four dollars into this one so this one's going to be about a 25 dollar profit up next is an item I had for over two years so I accepted a low offer on it. I had it listed, I think at about $40. I accepted an offer of 25 because it's been here for two years and I was ready to see it go. So depending on what you source, it might take a long time for things to sell. Just keep that in mind. But this was a beautiful piece. I'm really surprised it took this long. This is a vintage Murano hand-blown glass blue and green swan. It was six and a half inches tall. It did have the original sticker. I accepted that offer of $25. I paid about five for this. So this one's about a 12 to $13 profit. Up next is a wooden golf cart. This was just so cool. It was hard to find comps. I accepted an offer of $35. It was $10 at the thrift store, but they were having a 75% off sale. So I only paid $250 and it sold for $35. This is a vintage wooden golf cart, golf bags. It had little wooden clubs, rolling wheels, super cute. I did put golfer, golfing, and gift because if somebody was looking for a gift for a golfer, it would help them find my listing it sold for $35 again I only paid $250 on sale so this one's about a $25 profit and it actually sold in less than two months which is a pretty good turnaround to me up next is another item that was hanging around here for two years another one that surprised me it took so long to sell sometimes you never know i typically just let my items sit until they sell i don't take them down i don't redonate if i spent the time and energy listing them i'm gonna leave them up so this next one is a beautiful beautiful paperweight this is a spiral swirl egg glass art paperweight i did put blue gold and green helix it was five inches tall and this one sold for $38.98. I'm about $5 into this one, so it's about a $24 profit. But again, it took about two years to sell. All right, linens, linens, linens. If you haven't watched my high dollar linen video, I'll pop it, I'll pop it up top for you because some linens can be good money up and next is a set of Woolrich pillows I paid four dollars for they sold for 40 and under three months this is a set of two Woolrich corduroy patchwork throw pillows 15 by 15 I did put reed because there were some stains on these and they still sold for forty dollars for the pair making them over a thirty dollar profit in under two months all right another linen item but another long tail one this one also took over a year and a half to sell it is a tapestry throw which i love picking up but sometimes they take a while to sell but this one i think was worth the wait this is a vintage la france tapestry throw woodland creatures i did put goose chipmunks rabbit and bird this one was super super cute I paid $5 for it at the thrift store. It sold for $38, making it about a $25 profit. But again, it took about a year and a half to sell. All right, up next is something. It's actually a set of four, so I will show you all four. But I was on the fence on whether to list them together or not. And the fact that the same buyer bought them all makes me think maybe I should have listed them as a set but the four of these sold for $36. I am only a couple of dollars in and they sold in under a week. They sold really, really fast. This is uh, the first one here is a pewter skeleton. They are all pewter skeletons from Hard Rock Cafe. This first one is a guitar band player. I did put Ruby Eyes. And then the second one here is a Hard Rock skeleton drum player. So I'm going to pop these up and the four of them total sold for 36. So about $8 a piece. This next one is the singer of the band. So it was a band. I probably should have left them together, but they still went together. And then last is a guitar player. 
as well as that first one. So there were a couple of guitar players and all together the four of these sold for 36. I'm only a couple bucks in. They sold in a week, sold really fast and they are going to be about a $28 profit. All right, up next is something I absolutely love and that is Native American pottery. This piece was small, but it sold for a good amount. It did take over a year to sell. This is a miniature gecko lizard Acoma Pueblo Indian hand etched. This was a little seed pot. It is only three inches, so it is super tiny. It was a gorgeous piece. Took over a year to sell, but sold for $45.04. I paid about $5 for this, so this one's going to be about a $30 profit. All right, we have got some more license plates, but this pair sold for over $50. This is an original matching pair of Virginia 1969 vintage license plates. I did put set of two. Again, all of these license plates, I paid a dollar each, so I'm $2 in. They sold for $51.99, making them over a $40 profit. All right, up next is something I rarely do and that is retail arbitrage. If you do not know what retail arbitrage is, it is where you go to like Walmart, Target, Ross, look in their clearance section and you buy items and you resell them on eBay or Amazon. So I picked these dolls up for $19.99 on clearance at Walmart and this one sold for $51.99. This is a Rainbow High Slumber Party Marissa Gold Edition. It was new. I have sold two, actually I think I've sold three of the five in about three months. So this one sold for $51.99 plus the buyer paid shipping, making it about a $20 profit. So I typically like to five times my money as a rule. This was only two times my money, but it was a brand new item. And I found five of one and nine of the other. So $20 is a good profit on one item. And I only had to do two listings for a total of 13 items. I am happy with it and still have two left to sell. All right, next is another item I picked up over on Cat's Treasure Hunting probably about a month and a half ago. This is a set of eight vintage Anchor Hawking bird glasses. This is vintage Anchor Hawking Songbird set of eight. They were in the original box. I did put MCM for mid-century modern. I accepted a best offer of $50. I paid $6.99 at the thrift store, making these about a $32 profit, and they sold in under a month. Up next is another item that took over a year to sell, probably right at a year. And this is a little Beatles figurine set, but it sold for good money. This is a vintage Beatles keepsake ornament Hallmark 1994 30th anniversary band. This one sold for $70 and it did go international. I paid about $10 for this, making it about a $45 profit, but again, it did take about a year to sell. Up next is something that sat in my death pile forever, probably over a year, and it sold in under a month after it was listed. So just a reminder, if it is not listed, it cannot sell. So don't go buying a ton of stuff if you have a ton of stuff not listed. I'm trying to abide by that rule myself. Let me show you this pair of Cabela waders. Keep an eye out for these. This is Cabela's chest waders. They are camo reversible stocking foot. They were new in the box. They sold for $70. I paid $20 for these in an online auction. So they're about a $40 profit after fees and they again sold in about a month after i finally got them listed up next is a gorgeous 14 karat cameo brooch 
pick this up in a lot. So I actually am only about $5 in. This one sold for $90. This is a vintage Victorian 14 karat yellow gold card shell cameo pendant. It was signed ES. This one sold for $90.99. I picked it up for five. I got very, very lucky. It is not that often you will find gold in estate lots, but it can and does happen. So this one is about a $70 profit, but this one also took about a year to sell. I'm gonna interrupt this video real quick to show you guys some of the resin stuff available tonight on Whatnot at 8.30. You also can email me, thenerdsflipper at yahoo.com, if you're interested in any. I've got these cute little Mickey trinket dishes. They're great for earrings. Beautiful purple trinket box. Some little bird shelf sitters. I've got the beehive coaster set. I've got this turquoise ring holder. A little quilted heart box. The strawberry boxes have been very, very popular. We've also got the Love Mickey sign, the gorgeous turquoise shell trinket dish, that purple trinket box. This is what those bee coasters look like out of the holder. And then I've also got this beautiful hummingbird keychain, the cute little purple and black dolphin, some black Mickey earrings. This Tiffany blue bracelet holder is sold. We've also got this red owl, the little purple butterfly candle holder the red ring holder, and the really cute honeycomb and bee trinket box. So if you're interested in any of these, either email me, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com, or come see us tonight on Whatnot. Everything will start at $2 tonight on Whatnot at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Let's get back to the sale. Up next is some really cool vintage oriental lacquer plates that sold for a great price. This is a set of six antique vintage hand-painted Japanese black lacquered plates. They are seven inches. I did put them together because I wanted that higher sale. These took only about two months to sell. They sold for $85. I picked these up in an estate lot. I am about $5 in. So these are about a $65 profit. Up next is a really, really cool bowl that I picked up for five and it sold for almost a hundred dollars. This is a vintage Scrabito Montopoli, Italy, 10 and a half inch bowl, hand painted, did have a bowl, picked it up for five bucks, sold for 95. This one is about an $80 profit and this one took about six months to sell. Up next is a vintage Wizard of Oz snow globe. I have a research video on snow globes too. They're really, really fun. This vintage Wizard of Oz snow globe sold for a great price. Took about a year to sell. This is a vintage 1995 Wizard of Oz Turner Entertainment. We're off to see the wizard. I paid about $10 for this. It sold in about six to eight months for 75. So it's gonna be about a $55 profit. And it, the nice thing about this one was it was in the original box with the styrofoam, which makes it easy to ship. We do put it inside of another plain box to ship it out. All right, we are up to our top five items that sold in the last two and a half weeks. This first one I picked up on an online estate auction for $5 and nobody else bid against me. If you don't think there are still good things out there to be found, I'll tell you there are. This is a Laszlo Ice Spanky porcelain figurine Madonna bust. I did put Mary Biblical Sculpture. I paid $5. This one sold for $100. And $15. It did take a little over a year to sell, but this one is about a $90 profit. Up next is another item I got in an online estate auction for about $10. This one sold for over a hundred in less than a month. This is a vintage marionette string puppet, Howdy Doody. This is from the 1950s. It was an original one. I paid 10. It sold for 120 
$5, making it about a $95 profit and it sold very fast. Up next is a really, really cool piece. Another piece from an online auction. I did pay $20 for these, but they sold for over a hundred. This is a vintage mid-century modern retro bronze large pair of parrot candelabras. Two set. They were distressed. They were very heavy. They were nine pounds. And and these sold for $110, making them about a $70 profit. These did take a little longer. They took a year to sell. All right, next is another item that was sitting in the death pile worth over $100. This is an antique brass and silver tone coffee grinder, country style with the drawer, sold for $125. I am less than $5 in. So this one is close to $100 profit and it sold in under a month. All right, last to sell in the last two weeks is not the highest. They didn't go in numerical value. This is probably, I think, the coolest piece in all of these sales it's a really cool face to hang on like a tree or out in the garden i only paid a few dollars for it and it sold for almost a hundred this is a vintage handmade old man tree face sculpture it was made of cement super cool sold for 97.49 because it was heavy they were actually 165 dollars in so this is the sale that had the most dollar value to the buyer and this one took over a year to sell the right buyer finally found it it is a beautiful beautiful piece and it was close to an 85 dollar profit all right that is everything i hope you have enjoyed my sales for the last two or so weeks I have missed hanging out and talking to everybody. It was kind of a whirlwind going to auctioneer school. I am back now. I appreciate you all watching. I appreciate your patience as well as your support. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.